Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm the community manager at Game Analytics. So in this video, you can expect to learn about how you can manage your Game Analytics account, ranging from adding studios and games to updating your locale settings. When setting up your account, the first thing you'll need to do is add your studios and games, both of which can be done on the account overview page, which you can see over here. So in order to add a new studio, you need to click on the blue Add New Studio button on the top right hand corner over here. Then you enter your studio's name and icon. So before I type in my studio name, I just want to say that the icon over here is completely optional, but we find it a bit more helpful when there's a logo there, especially if you have a large portfolio. So studio name, let me type in Kelly Games mm, 7.0. Let me hit create studio. And ta-da, I have successfully added a studio to my account. And as for adding a game, it's very simple as well. All you need to do is click the add game button on the right. Let me just refresh this. So as I was saying, to add a game is very simple as well. So all you need to do is click the add game button on the right and you'll be able to search for your game across different app stores, which will import metadata directly from the chosen store. So there's actually another way of doing this, which is to add the game manually by yourself. This may take a bit longer. Anyway, now I'm going to be typing in my favorite game into the search bar, which is Aqua Park uh, by Voodoo. You search. Again, like I said, you can see the list of your games from different app stores. Let's say I'll just click on this one in Google uh, Play Store. And then here you go. So obviously this is not my game, but if this were to be my game, I would have to confirm my bundle ID and also my Google Play licensing key. And after that, you hit next. And now your game is under your studio name. So be very similar to the demo game under the game analytics tab. If there's a game you don't want to track anymore, you can simply archive it. Um, don't worry, you'll be able to get it back when you need it. And you just head over to your archive games list down here. And you'll find it. As for studios, you can do the same thing. So I want to archive Kelly Games 2.0. Archive, I'll confirm, and ta -da, I have archived it. And if I want to retrieve it, I will go down to the list over here, and then an archive Kelly Games 2.0. Confirm. And there you go, it's back. So next I'm gonna be going over how you can manage your personal settings. So all you need to do is click on the drop down list on the top right hand corner and click on personal settings. So once you're over here, you'll be able to manage things like your profile your email reports, and your locale settings. So in terms of um, the list of things you can edit in your profile, there is your first name, your last name, your email address, but because my account is connected to my Gmail, I'm not able to do it right now. Um, but I'm sure for those of you who don't have it connected, you can change your email address. Um, you can also go ahead and change your city. Um, your country and this is also where you're able to um, disable and enable demo game on the home screen there you go save changes and then we go over to our email reports so here is where you can remove yourself from the email report subscription list so this means you will no longer receive reports to your account email so the email reports feature here actually lets you keep track of your game's performance without having to log in every single day so in terms of locale settings you are able to change the time zone for your real-time dashboard data. You can also change the date format, the time format, which day of the week you would like this to start, um, currency, the number format, and even the language you would like your game analytics account to be in. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned a bit more about our platform today. If you have any more questions or you want more information, please check out our documentation page. Um, there you'll be able to find our integration guides, more guides to help you get the most out of our analysis feature. And then there's an um, FAQ page and also there's a step-by-step -step guide to, to set up event tracking using our own mobile game. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. Um, hope you have a good day. Bye!